Hi everybody, it's Lee Daniel, and today um, I'm going to continue with our series on uh, narcissism and other emotionally abusive behavior. And one thing that I've noticed, especially in litigation, is that you want to argue back, right? Because they're going to argue with you. If they have narcissism or if they have borderline personality, if the person has is just emotionally abusive, they're going to argue. And the problem with arguing back is that they will never see your point of view. So as much as you might be right, even if your lawyer tells you you're right, of course, you know, we lawyers, we like to tell our clients they're right, especially when they are right. Um, and in cases like this, often, you know, you, you know that you're the one that's in the, you know, you're the one that has a valid point, you know, whether it's about your child or your finances or about something that's happened. And, and you, and you may say, but that did happen. They will never agree. Okay. So what I would like to suggest, if, if you are in a relationship with someone that's emotionally abusive, then I just want you to think about the energy that you expend by arguing. And is that really a productive use of the energy? Because in my opinion, it's not. And that includes when you're going through a litigation process with them. Arguing with them is not going to make it any better. You're never going to win an argument with them. And all it's going to do is cause you probably to get upset and to continue the circle of, of abuse, right? Because you can have a text message or an email or even a voice recording. You can absolutely know that something happened and they will still deny it. So I know, I think we like to prove ourselves. You know, as a lawyer, that's what I do all the time. We, we prove our points. But if you're trying to prove your point with a narcissist or another emotionally abusive person, then don't try. Don't have, I mean, I've seen, I've seen in some cases numerous emails where people are trying to prove their point. And it's completely frustrating. It's frustrating for me to read. I know how frustrating it must be for the people who are enmeshed in this kind of relationship. And then they come into my office when there's a modification about child custody or there's a divorce and they want to show me all of the different emails and how they, you know, this is my point and this is what they said. That's completely unproductive because what you say in response to those arguments is not evidence. All right. That's a statement against, I mean, that's a statement in your own interest. That's just you telling your side of the story. It's not proving anything. So you can't prove anything by arguing back. And it's not so, in fact, once somebody sent me an email and they said, you're not even responding to this. You're just letting them get away with it. And I said, well, there's no reason to respond because that's not evidence. So proving your argument to anybody but the judge is not an effective way to deal with an, uh, a narcissist or another kind of emotionally abusive person. Now, I'm not a therapist. Um, I'm just a lawyer who's been practicing law for over 20 years, and I've seen this kind of thing happen so much. And, and when you're in a litigation situation, I want you to think about what is the most productive use of your time? What is the best way for you to get through this situation on the other side? And stirring up and arguing is not the best way. So I uh, know it's difficult. I've told people many times, go no contact, be very brief. Don't get involved in arguing with this person because it's not helping you. And you might inadvertently say something that they're going to use against you because that's what you do when you're in litigation. So just be, try to be calm. Try to think about yourself. Think about what's important to you. And don't think about proving them wrong because it's never going to happen from their point of view. So have a good day. And um, I will speak to you again on our series about narcissism and emotional abuse. Thank you.